The film adaptation of the award-winning novel Indian Horse by the late Richard Wegemies will dispute, debut on the big screen in just a few weeks. This story follows an Ojibwe boy named Saul who is taken from his family and forced into a residential school. Saul soon falls in love with hockey and uses it as an escape. I sat down with Sladen Peltier, who plays Saul as a child, and Edna Manitowabi, who plays his grandmother. I shall mention Sladen, who is just 11 years old, is up for a Canadian Screen Award for this role. Let's try it. Here we go. Let me in. Let's see what you can do. How did you both get involved in this story? Um, at this tournament called Little Native Hockey League, Little NHL, and um, they're handing out flyers, and then it got thrown in the bottom of my hockey bag, and then <laughs> when I was unpacking, I was like, oh, a movie, and I'm like, sure, I'll audition for this. the first time I auditioned for a movie and uh, yeah, I, uh, this is the first time I'm doing, I did this, so I've, I've done theater, yeah, yeah but um, never a movie and um, I actually uh, wanted to um, um, leave something, I'm a grandma and uh, a great grandma, so I wanted to uh, leave something behind for my great grandchildren, the story, the story of our people and uh, the uh, historical trauma that we've been we've been through it was hidden it was hidden and nobody wanted to talk about it and it was Canada's I I I say that it's Canada's shame it wasn't even in our schools it was forbidden the, the languages and uh, even in our own communities it was uh, it was taboo you didn't it was silenced you didn't talk about it so, for me, it wasn't until the 60s, those beautiful 60s, that um, um, I heard the sound of the drum. And for me, that's basically what woke me up. It woke up something inside of me that just uh, said, wake up now. You have to wake up. Hmm. There's work to do. What's your name? So. Well, you speak English very good. Part of the story of Her Saul and probably some of the hardest he issues that he went through, he went through very young in residential schools. What you, your... you know, you're just a, you're a young boy. Can I call you a young boy? Yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a young boy playing these traumatic, uh, scary things in the movie, residential schools and being taken away from your family. Um, really intense, painful scenes. What was that like on set? And what was it like away from the camera? How did you deal with that? On set, it was very hard, but um, lots of people, like my dad, my mom, and my sister, Brooke, mm -hmm. helped me through a lot of it when I was off camera, and on set, too. And But on set, I learned a lot of stories that I didn't know about what happened to my grandfathers. Did they share any of those stories with you? They shared them with me when I asked about them, mm -hmm. but if we didn't, if we weren't talking about it, we didn't want to bring it up often because it was some very horrible things that happened in the residential schools. This movie really opens the doors, not only just for non-Indigenous people to have a really good look at what happened, but also for people within the community to be able to open up and have that dialogue and say, this is part of my story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's open, it's open doors. I was taken when I was six years old, so it's, it's been real for me. Mm. And uh, uh, s relationships were severed. And um, my relationship with my parents, my mother, and her responsibility to be a parent was taken from her nine times because all of us, I was the last one to go. And it's, it's like um, uh, you become dispirited, you become, uh, yeah, lost, basically. Mama! The Lord God is your father now. 
What's your favorite thing? What are you most proud of in playing young Saul? I'm very proud of telling the story to other people who didn't know the story about what happened to people. You can't understand where you're going if you don't understand where you've been. book and an even more powerful film. Author Richard Wagamese passed away last year right before this film was completed. We will be keeping an eye on Slayton this weekend coming up at the Canadian Screen Awards. Indian Horse opens in theaters in April.